But hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Digimon Survive. Last time, we actually held to a time limit ever so slightly. And be mainly because it was an, a longer period, it felt like, of... Because uh, normally these chapters or parts or whatever seem to work in... There's a bunch of dialogue. There's a bunch of story stuff. And then the very intense, oh god, we in danger section begins. Last time there were a few extra, oh shadow, that shadow fights thrown in. Well, actually, no, there was only one that shadow fights, and then just a bunch of ambushes and ultimates. Yeah, ultimate digivolutions. And, uh, but yeah, last time everyone was very freaked out by what happened, but nobody had the thought, hmm, maybe the fact that Shuji abused Lopmon caused Lopmon to shatter into a million bitty bits and eat him. No, they're like, how do we know if we can trust the monsters? I don't know. By the fact that the biggest asshole to his monster got eaten, whereas everybody else was treated fine, might have something to do with it. Hmm. But yes, last time that kind of thing was going down, Saki was freaked out, but seems to have come to equilibrium with Florimon. Aoi, for a moment, felt like uh, kind of down the middle, but of course quickly returned to trusting La uh, Labramon. Kaito and Drachmon ran into some issues where basically it kind of felt like Drachmon was on the other side a little bit because Kaito was just like essentially Kaito's stance seemed to be I don't really care I think he'll be trustworthy and loyal but if it so comes down to him being a traitor I will throw down without fear and Drachman just took a little bit to come to terms with like, oh, I'm just misreading things here. It's not that you don't trust me, it's just that you are prepared if I am not trustworthy. It was still kind of awkward and weird, but they seem to have come to an equilibrium themselves, where they're kind of assholes to each other, but kind of in a wink-wink, nudge-nudge, we're friends kind of way. They're weird. The only ones that, like, uh, weren't in any kind of trouble were, like, Takuma and Agumon, because protagonist... Though Agumon himself did have a moment of, but I'm a little worried now. What if I don't want to do that? And I reassured him. And then Aoi, uh, no, not Aoi, but Mew and Siokuman. They were perfectly fine. No problem whatsoever. Really, Siokuman is just like, yeah, <laughs> have to manage the brother and sister, but otherwise perfectly fine. And then there was Minoru going down the road of Shuji 2.0. Just constantly beating down Falcomon until Falcomon had enough and went for a walk in the city, of which that is where we ended. We went about everybody else's ultimate tid possibility, and uh, now there's just the go to Minoru looking for Falcomon. Oh, anxieties are here. I mean, I could do a quickie quickie free battle. Hilarious, there's uh, Cyclone Mon in there. Could do that. But, yeah, let's just go get the anxieties rolling! Oh, it's Minoru. Maybe I should say something. And there's just a professor in the background! That's another thing. We still have no idea what's going on with Miyuki, Haru, Renamon, Garurumon, the professor. There's things going on. There's just lots of things. But yeah, there's just the professor back there, so... Hmm. But okie doke, Minoru, how you? See anything? Any feathers? Minoru, over there! That was easy. There he is! Falcomon! What do you want now? I came to apologize to you, man. The professor told us how unstable hearts can have a negative impact on your evolution. So if you ever attacked me like I feared... Then it that just be my fault? You ain't done a damn thing wrong, so... You truly act for your own convenience. Uh-huh. Sorry, I can't make any excuses. 
Still, I hate the idea of you turning bad because of me. Falcomon, he's not saying this in the spur of the moment. It's how he truly feels. Can't you find it in your heart to forgive him? I cannot return. What do you mean by that? Farewell. Well, that's odd. I cannot return. It does not explain, or maybe he'll explain here. Uh, hold up, Falcomon! He didn't say he won't return, he said he can't. What did he mean by that? That's a good pickup there, Takuma. So, hmm. I wonder if this is a choice thing. Do I talk to Falcomon or to the professor? Because they both have a thing, and sometimes the game is like, you can only choose one. Takuma. I want to talk to Falcomon. Sure, let's try talking to Falcomon again. But, Professor... I saved. So let's go talk to the Professor. Hey, Professor, you found anything? Is it here? Ah, yes, here. What are you saying, Professor? We can't hear you if you mumble like that. Oh, sorry, don't mind me. It's nothing for you to concern yourselves over. It was some time ago, so my memory's fuzzy. Even so, this is the place. What's with you? Come back to Earth, please. Oh, um, my apologies. I'm simply absorbed in my own concerns. Would you give me a moment alone? I need to put my thoughts in order. He's remembering his time with... in the digital world! I know it! He's Haru! I'm concerned myself, but if that's what he wants, I should leave him be. Falcomon, please elaborate. You two again. I believe I'll express my intention loud and clear. I won't go back. But you didn't say that, did you? You said that you can't come back. I simply misspoke. Is something going on? So we can talk it through and... No need. Return to your other comrades. Just talk to me here! If you refuse to withdraw, then I shall take leave myself. What is your deal? Did he join up with the kidnappers? With Garurumon? That would kind of make sense a bit. In a way, Garurumon... Felt betrayed by his chosen child. Maybe Garurumon talked to Falcomon. That would be because we did start this off with Garurumon, this part. Falcomon, I guess an apology isn't enough for him to forgive me. Hey, Mineral, it doesn't sound like he's actually mad at you or anything. Really? But then why? He may have a reason he can't tell us. Let's follow him again and try to ask him about it. A reason he can't tell us, huh? I can't think of anything. Lots of oddities. Lots of weirdness. I want to. I want to pursue the professor because that's interesting and odd. I want to know what the professor's deal is. is it, I feel like he's starting to remember my theory. My game of theory will come true. Hey, Dracomon, how it goes? Come on, let's take it slow and steady. Look for traces of the enemy and Falcomon. Well, we already found Falcomon. What? When the heck did you two make up? Just back there when we exchanged a look that could curdle milk, right, Kaido? You ain't learned a damn thing, have you? Dracman sure looks happy. Isn't that great, Takuma? Uh, sure. Could it be I was so worried over something that those two considered a minor spat? I'm really grateful to you, Takuma. Yeah, but I didn't do anything to help in the end. Nah, man, things could, would have gotten more complicated without you for sure. Really? You're the bridge us pair of schmucks needed to meet in the middle. Who's the pair of schmucks? Still, Drakmon's on the money. Our vicious cycle would have gone on and on without you. This jerk's a loudmouth in mind and body, so it's impossible to take him at face value. How do I put it? It's okay to have doubts, but we shouldn't hurt family, right? I lost sight of that somehow. See, that's kind of what I was going for. They have that kind of at the back of their mind where they're like, I'm not going to let this control my actions. Just be aware. This is on my mind, and I will act on them if you give me cause. That seems fair to me between these two. Kaido looks like a new man. He really must have made a peace with this whole thing. So, how are things going in Minerum and Falcomon? We're just about to go after Falcomon again. We'd better talk to him as soon as we can before any enemies show up. Yeah, man. I'll take a little look around and let you know if we spot him. Oh, and take this. I found it during our last patrol. All-purpose ointment. I, is that like an upgraded salve? Neat. 
Falcomon's a pain in his own right. Good friggin' luck. Leave it to us. We'll get him to make up with Minoru for sure. I cannot get my Agumon voice on any kind of normality. Miyuki, Haru, Omiyuki. Maybe he's their father then? Older brother? Because he said Haru. Nobody would, like, go to the place that they themselves were at at one point and go, Ah, yes, Miyuki, my sister. Haru, that was me. So maybe he's their father? But then he would have recognized them, would he have not? It just feels like something... So, again... I still think that he should be Haru, because Haru went back to the human world, presumably. And then time dilation shenanigans, maybe he is old now. But why would he say his own name like that? Miyuki Haru. What, did he change his name? I don't know. The fog's clearing up. The fog in my head. No, not here. The big building. Takuma! The professor is talking to himself again. Yeah, I know. He said he wanted some time, but... Okay, he really is starting to worry me. Maybe I should say something. From what he said before, the professor may not want to talk till he's sorted himself out. Maybe I should ask what he's mumbling about. I'm curious. If I can't ask about that, I at least want to know if he's doing okay. I shall ask if he's worried. What are you worried about, professor? Takuma. No, it's nothing. My apologies. It doesn't look like nothing to me. Please tell us if something's bothering you. I want to know what you're worried about. Mm, still bothering you all if a hypothesis of mine goes against my creed. Please wait a little longer. Perhaps I'll learn something more soon. Something, he says. Takuma, may I ask you one thing? What is it? Miyuki and Haru. Just what are they? Uh, no, forget I said anything. What? You're stopping there? This topic is simply too uncertain. There's no basis in my unreliable memories alone. Your memories? I truly do not wish to worry you. Speaking with such ambiguity would only sow confusion. Allow me to talk once I've come to a solid conclusion. I apologize for worrying you. Oh no. In the end, I missed my chance to ask why he's acting so weird. But I'll... Again... Huh, and now we talk to Agumon in same room? I'm gonna save, because that could be a, hey, you go into room and bad things happen. Because I feel like, mm, and also, because mm, I feel like going after Falcomon would be the big thing. I say we search this corner of the apartment complex top to bottom. We didn't spot anything that looked like the enemy base, huh? Yeah, oh, but there's still the other building to investigate, right? Reminds me, the professor mentioned something about that other building. Something tells me I should check it out. You coming with, Agumon? Of course! Let's go, go, go! I bet it'll be fun to compare this building to the other one. I swear I've seen this apartment complex before. The fog in my head is clearing up. I do remember this place. Who's there? Oops, looks like you caught me. I thought the humans were all children. Didn't expect an adult among them. Bad break for you to have crossed my path, you. Wait, it's you? Yes. Yeah, no, you. Yes, I do remember you. Hm, of all the rotten luck. Still, this isn't the time for me to kill you. I'll crush those children before that one makes things worse. First, I'll disavow those fools who obtain fake strength through bonds. Stop it! You can't mean to lay hands on those creatures! I have no obligation to wait. Don't worry, I'll be coming to crush you soon. Please wait! You'll be the one waiting, Professor. What? Haru. Haru, it's dangerous! Get back! That monster's long gone already. Ah, this is bad. He must have gone off to attack all the kids. I cannot let that happen. I'm going after him. Sorry, Professor, but my matter comes first. What? What in the world are you? 
More oddities and weirdness. More oddities and weirdness. My matter comes first. Does that... M Once again, brain inking ever closer to Haru being Renamon. With Haru coming out of nowhere to approach the professor alone. So yeah, that basically proves that the professor is Haru. But why is he referring like Miyuki Haru? Miyuki, he said, and it's a memory fog, and basically saying his mm, I don't know. Miyuki's hanging out with Minoru. Should I join them? Hey Siakamon, how things go? Have Minoru and Falcomon made up? I'm worried about Kaido and Drachmon too. Hey, Mew, what do you think? Takuma, here, this is for you. Oh, thanks. Where'd you pick this up? Some enemies came through before. One of them dropped it. Wait, what? Are you okay? I'm great. So how come on clean their clocks? Good. Oh, yeah? Good to hear. Oh, but don't tell Kaido that part. I don't even want to think what he'd say. You got it. Still, you two, huh? What? Is it just me or are you guys on a better wavelength than ever? Oh, yeah, we leveled up our buddy rank again. Yep. I hope Falcomon and Minru can meet each other halfway soon. He wouldn't have to worry if they talked and became buddies all good, right? That's a simple way to put it. Still, I get what you're trying to say. I can say I trust Agumon and that connection helps me keep me calm. Wanna follow my buddies in religion? Can't promise divine protection, but it's fun. When the heck did you have time to found a religion? Mew is an adorable little scamp. Please do not die through my actions. Well, let's see. Wait, Falcomon! I refuse! I told you not to come here! Just asking to hear me out, you bird brain! Better a bird brain than a blockhead! Be reasonable for once! What? Falcomon went on the offensive! Oh, gee, are you sure we shouldn't stop him? I sure hope Minoru is okay. Oh, come on, I beg you, hear me out! I will not! Enough of your self-indulgence! I shall depart. Expect no quarter from me if I see you again. Holy, that's a bit extreme, man. Farewell. Hold it, Falcomon! What? When did you get behind me? Don't run. You need to hear us out. You don't really hate Minoru, do you, Falcomon? There must be something you can't talk about, so you're just trying to run away, right? Do not presume to know my feelings, Falcomon. How, how lackadaisical can you all be? I do not hate him. What a feckless jest. He heaved verbal abuse upon me. He ignored my heart. He used me for whatever he wanted. How dare you! I get it. Takuma, Agumon let him through. What? But you haven't had a chance to have a proper talk with him. It's okay. I saw how he acted, so I thought he didn't hate me. But Falcomon still had some compassion for me. But I was wrong, wasn't I? So I gotta admit that now. There's nothing to talk about. If you understand, then I shall depart. Goodbye, Minoru. Falcomon. His voice was shaking. Minoru, you can't give up! I can't tell heads from tails anymore! Of course I want him to come back, that won't change! I really want to apologize! But if he hates me and I just force him to hear my apologies, that's not right. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be for Falcomon. It'd just make me it would just be to me well, the brain not good for words. It'd just be to make me feel better. Minoru's lost all confidence. He thinks that Falcomon hates him now. But that can't be true. If he was saying goodbye to a guy he hated, he wouldn't look so hurt. I have to give Minoru more courage to fight for his own anxiety. Hmm. Trust your bond. Oh. This isn't an affinity one. This is a diddly dee. Believe in yourself. Have confidence in yourself, Minoru. It's true that you said some awful things to Falcomon, but that's not enough to make him hate you. You open up to people quickly. You might get carried away, but no one can stay mad at you. I'm sure Falcomon loves that part of you, man. Loved past tense, right? That's probably not the case after everything I said. If you're going to give up, might as well try everything you can first. But it's still too early to give up. I'm sure of it. Okay. I'll try a little harder. I won't give up. And I'll go after Falcomon. 
Sounds good. You can do it, man. Yeah. So maybe my theory that Garurumon will attack Falcomon's like, I will beat you for your bond, and then Minoru will jump in the way and be like, no, I refuse. You will not hurt the boy. Minoru's Osaki. Should I talk to them? Ah, I don't think we've looked at this before. The ground's covered in drawings. Looks like kids' doodles. You jump in and out of the circles to play. Oh, I want to give it a try. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Adorable little man. I wish Falcomon would just come out and be honest with his feelings. So I guess Floramon knows truly what is going on. Takuma, sorry to worry you back there. It's nothing to apologize for. I totally get why you're scared. You say that, but you don't seem all that scared to me. Oh, uh, you think? Nothing wrong with that, right? If you get caught up in your fear, you can't even think. My fear prevented me from thinking about how I was hurting you, Florimon. It's fine. Water under the bridge. I'm glad you feel that way, Florimon. Keep sticking with me? You know it. Come on, let's shake on it. Oh, whoopsie, I forgot I still had this. I know, I'll give it to you, Takuma. I'm a guard break. Are you sure? You bet. I'm busy enough as it is holding on to Saki here. <laughs> what a little weirdo. The mood's gotten lighter. I'm glad to see these those two have chilled out. Ever on and on, ever on and on. Time to press Falcomon. There he is, hey Falco! Stay away! Uh -huh. You must not come any closer, do you hear me? Wait up, Falcomon! You are incorrigible, Minoru! Say what? Dang it, I'm gonna chase that featherhead down until he hears me out! That is why I called you incorrigible! I know I'm being a pain again after putting you in such a crappy position. That's why I can't just let you off with us so long, not like this! Tell me! You must have a reason you can't come back, don't you? Minoru, the reason... the reason I cannot return... I cannot tell you! Be silent and get out of my sight! Getting closer. Falcomon looked like he was worried about something. Takuma, I don't trust myself here. If I say something messed up, give it to me straight. I think you're right on the money when it comes to how Falcomon's feeling. From his attitude, I don't think he's keeping his distance because he hates me. Yeah, I think it's something else. Me too. Falcomon looked like he was holding back. You think so too? I knew it. If it turns out he really can't stand me, then I'll back off for real. But if that ain't the case, I can't let things in like this. I'll draw it out of him. That's this secret reason he can't talk about, even if he wants to. The big building the professor mentioned was this way. Appearance-wise, nothing's changed since we explored before. Agumon, do you sense any other Kimonogami? I don't know. When I sense something bad, it's usually really strong. But sometimes enemies appear when I didn't sense anything at all. I guess the senses aren't on point every time. Gotcha. Thanks, Agumon. It's unsettling not knowing what'll pop out, not to mention how old this place is. Who knows why the professor was interested in this building? Maybe there are some clues about our enemy, or this world, or how to get home. Excuse me? It's no time to be a scaredy cat. I gotta be brave and make sure we don't lose anyone else. Let's go, Agumon. Be ready for the enemy to appear at any moment. Yeah! I won't be- I hope we find something useful! There you are, Falcomon! What do you want now? Well, um, hear me out, just one more time. I haven't apologized properly yet. I'm sorry for being so mean. I was suspicious over nothing, I'm sorry. I can't apologize or fix my mistakes if you're not here by my side. I know I'm just rambling, but please, come back. No. Are you still angry? No, it's not that. I just cannot stand being around you anymore. Because I'm not dependable? What makes you say that? 
The only difference between me and the others who still have their kimonogamy is that I'm weak. Everyone else thinks for themselves and decides what to do. But I'm a careless coward. I don't have the pull the others do. I'm scared. What if my decision leads to something bad? And everyone gets mad or fed up. Thinking about that makes me too scared to decide anything on my own. But what if I trust you and something bad happens? Worst case scenario, everyone dies. The thought of dying like Shujin Ryo is bad enough. But if you turned evil because of my issues, and then you killed other people too, that just terrifies me. That makes it hard to trust you. But I don't want to be like that anymore. I want to protect you from now on. No more doubt and suspicion. So please, Falcomon. Yeah. No, I still refuse. Why? Look, I want to be with you. If it were only your fault, I would have come back by now. But I cannot be at your side. This is my problem, not yours. Then tell me why. If it's not my fault, what's the holdup? I cannot tell you why. I'm sorry, Minoru. You really trusted me to the end. Though. Thank you. I will not forget this. What happened in that short time he ran away? What the hell? Why can't you tell me? Are you trying to act like it's not my fault to make me feel better? Then I have to change myself so you'll come back. I've got to become stronger. Again, my theory is he's going to save Falcomon from Garurumon. That's just what the fe that's my going theory. But at the no, but that still wouldn't do it because Falcomon specifically said that it's not because of Minoru anymore. There's something about Falcomon himself. So either it's like, it could be that Falcomon feels like he's undeserving, maybe? Because he failed to earn Minoru's trust, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. It'll be revealed, probably. Doesn't seem like it's changed much at all. It's as dusty as ever. The cabinet's open, I think. <laughs> Look, toys! Must have been some human children in here. Yeah, books too, and an old TV, and... What's this? What did you find, Takuma? It's an old photo of Miyuki and Haru. What's it doing here? So maybe my theory that... Because hmm. hmm. I did have the theory that renamon has been using illusions on Miyuki. To, because Miyuki might be old. And renamon has been using illusions to keep her young looking for some reason. Because, again, but no. Bleh. Because it's hard to tell. The school is old, despite being the same kind of school from the real world, which was new. Like, well, not new, but not run down over time. And this is clearly an old photo. Like, years and years and years ago. So, it depends if... Hmm, yeah, it just depends on weirdness, but... Once again, weirdness with Haru and Miyuki. You think maybe it's their house? This old place? Their house? That can't be right. What the heck is going on here? Oh, come on. Someone's coming. We have to hide. Quick. What? Where? Uh, under this table. No, in the back room. This way. Is Haru leading Professor? Welcome, Professor. How's your head? All better? It's cleared up a bit, but I feel so confused. I simply have to know, what are you? Unless my memory fails me, you shouldn't be here right now. How can this really be you? I'm sure you've developed a theory about that, no? And if I shouldn't be here right now, doesn't that same go for you? Oh, uh, sounds more mature somehow. Like he's talking to an equal. What are they talking about? What do they mean they shouldn't be here? Well, it's not like I came here by choice! I'll protect Miyuki. So long as I remain in this world, you have nothing to fear. As for you, Professor, we don't need you. You should go back where you came from. The sooner the better. And if you let any harm come her way, I won't hold back, I promise. That's all I wanted to say. I'll be leaving now. Wait! That's Garurumon. What the, was that? Monsters? Crap, I have to protect Miyuki! What? And that's why you don't monologue. Ugh. And mm, the bad thing's gonna happen. They both ran off! Let's go, Tacoma! 
Yeah, after them. To the monsters. Takuma, over there. Yuki, Yuki are you okay? Is she just not afraid of him? That is a badass picture. Yuki's been caught by an enemy? Still, she doesn't seem scared at all. Garurumon! Let her go! It's your fault for being so careless. Leaving a defenseless girl all alone when you're surrounded by enemies. Yuki, what the hell do you think you're doing? Let her go! Huh? What are you doing here? Good, very good. Another one is ours. Not you. I'm not in the mood today. Not in the mood? Whatever do you mean? Are they on the same side? Something weird's going on here. You need to stop dawdling and capture those children. And you need to stop being so arrogant. Whatever, it's not like I have a choice. Anyway, I've been wanting to teach you all a lesson. Bring it on, kiddies. Here he comes. Get ready, Agumon. I'm on it, Takuma. I'll protect you. All right. Didn't expect him to go after Miyuki. Oh, it is a... Do I only have Agumon for this? I'll need to go ultimate immediately. Ultimate immediately. And there's a treasure chest, too. Let's see. Three that way, one that way, and treasure chest. I don't really fear the Gazemon too much. Oh, it suddenly cutscene. Ah, reinforcements. I've been waiting for this. Kaido and Drakman, awesome, thanks for coming. You should have seen his face when he heard the sounds of battle. He was worried sick. Did you really need to bring that up? Don't make me kick your butt, Drakman. <laughs> I'd like to see you try! So we're just gonna get slow reinforcements. Neat. Hmm. And of course, Digivolution, because ultimates immediately. Myotis Mom. These Gazemon need to learn their place. Come fight me and die by my hand. Or you can just get stunned because the game's a dick. And another reinforcement. Ooh, come this way, Mew, Saki. Takuma, you should have told me there was fighting. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't have time to tell you. Oh well, we'll work extra hard to make up for coming late. Good luck, Florimon. I'll be cheering you. And this should be able to annihilate him in one go. Bye-bye. Stunned because game is jerk. Luckily, he's the perfect bait for the Gazemon. We'll just have to keep him the fuck away from Garurumon. Let's go ahead and just get rid of that one. Go for oh no, you're going for you. Cool. Lol. <laughs> and now Mew or Awi? Mew! Wow, you're doing great. You really held them off, Agumon. Yeah, I successfully protected Takuma. The enemies look tough. We'll help too. Yeah, I don't want to be dead weight. 
It would be kind of cool if the humans were units in battle more often for the story, so you actually had, like, more to worry about. I just hope that he doesn't start uh, coming my way. I just wanted that. Uh, another all oh, bibbidi bop crystal. I'll be safe to just get rid of you. Go ahead and annihilate the final Gazemon. Then hopefully the dude will be no longer bibbidi bopped. Now all your Gazemon are gone. But the Aru Kinemon's still about. It's Kuma and everyone! Sorry we're late. It's fine. So you're gonna help fight too? Of course! I'm not scared of fighting anymore. Right, Labramon? Show them what you can do. I'm just lucky that I got everyone good and happy that they are able to come and help the day. Part of me was kind of scared that... Hmm. Let's see... I don't want to move it and, like, get into his aggro range until everybody is... I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Let's see... Cure statics ailments. Steal, uh, get rid of that. I probably should have D Digivolve, which I will do. Go ahead and D Digivolve everyone so that we can. Oh, I forgot to D Digivolve him, me fool. Like get our SP back up. Shit, shit, shit! What's all this protection nonsense? What are bonds? Huh. I wonder what happened if I just went after him. Enough wasting time. All you do is talk. Let's see some action. I don't want to weaken my fighting force, but so be it. Go! Want to... Oh. Made a weird noise. Kawagamon, Kabuterimon. More enemies? There'll never be enough to stop me! Bring it on! Oh, he got a buff. Would be kind of weird if he got another Digivolution so early. Go ahead and defend. Where's the Kabuterimon? So no D Digivolution for me. D Digivolution X. We don't have to worry about it too much. Come on, fight me, Kabuterimon. No, that was Kawagamon, me fool. Ah, screw it, I'll go ahead and digivolve you up. Oh, you can actually move? Nope, you're just going to attack charge. I'll actually retreat slightly, because I don't want to activate the boy. Gotta play super defensively, I feel. Out of fear. Go ahead and digivolve you, just so I can. Because we're going to get into combat next turn, and then we don't want you to get blindsided.
We'll let them come even closer, and then annihilate them. Because that's still very far away from the boy. So we shouldn't be... Yeah. Hmm. I'll actually come here, because Quagmon has didn't do an attack and don't want to risk it. Guess I'll move there. So we can start rolling up on the big boy. Not enough that we actually super activate him. The passive heals from bonds is real nice. Probably should have tried to kill Kawa. Oh, hey, what? Oh. He'll fight for us too! It's too dangerous, Mineral. Stay back! You can't take risks of Falcomon around. Falcomon. Right. He'd still be here if I hadn't given in to my fear and lashed out at him. Fear. Yeah, I was afraid. Always so afraid. I was held back by the fear and it stopped me from trusting Falcomon. I'm sorry, Falcomon. I'm the one who should apologize. You here, buddy? Falcomon, you're here? You had a change of heart, overcame your fear, and decided to trust me. In the end, I was the one who refused to trust. Let us try this again, this time with trust. Trust on both sides. Oh, come on. Here we go. Time for a counterattack. I'm gonna wait. Wrong turn, the wrong area. Eh, let's just, uh. Hmm. Well, let's see, how much attack does this do? Eh, let's just Giga Destroyer him. Place. Let Falcomon catch up. Still doesn't have his ultimate, which is a little worrying, but understandable. He's been uh, gone for a bit. He didn't go to the evolution forest. Let's begin the charge. But uh, keep our virus guy a little bit away. We don't want to encourage the virus man to be an attacked. Ever fear of Guru Ruman coming to kick ass? Because he is a boss, boss. And chop. Ah, good thing I didn't. He has a kind of similar thing. Kind of sad I couldn't bring my War Growlmon in here. I'll just come here and do the diddly. You take a lot of damage. This is the power of bonds. 
I should probably let Falcomon get the end because thematics. Just don't get... So yeah, just don't... Uh... Bibbidi bop, uh... Actually, uh... You run away a bit. You're a virus type. You can get destroyed. Hopefully, Falcomon will be able to get there this turn. Hopefully, hopefully. Do extra damage. Damn it. Very rude. But he has to get the hit. It's thematic. Uh, you stay back there. You're virus type. I don't want you to get eaten. Gonna run away, boy. I will chase you to the ends of the earth. It won't help you, because Falcomon is quite the climber. Now, please die. It's thematic. It had to be. If I can just commit myself to anime bullshit, safely I will. But hey, a happy chapter! Another perfect enlightenment slab. Hell yeah. Walken Napalm! Neat. Low chance of inflicting sleep? How? <laughs> Miyoki, over here! <laughs> yes, we got Miyuki back from Garurumon! Damn it! He's still standing. Don't let your guard down! You, why did you do this? Garurumon is staring at the professor. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? What he's trying to do. If he messes with me and us again, I'll really let him have it. Uh, remember this moment. The next time we meet, you die. Did we get a definitively good chapter with no badness? He got away. Hmm. If you ran to the west, maybe that's where their hideout is. It looks like there's a factory or something across the forest. That must be it. Now we know where the enemy is! That's great news, Takuma! Yeah, now we can get into the enemy base. You guys saved my sister. Thank you. No biggie. There's the least we could do. We're friends, aren't we? Friends, huh? I feel so stupid. Minoru. I honestly felt so relieved when Falcomon came back. I was never really strong at all, and I regret it. I feel just as embarrassed as you do. I demanded that you trust me while failing to even trust myself. You didn't trust yourself? What do you mean? I was terrified, just as you were. I might hurt you the way Lopmon hurt Suji. I might disappear without being able to protect you the way Kunemon did. I did not know what I was or what might happen. But if I stayed at Minoru's side, you might turn into something evil right next to him. Exactly. And so I was too fearful to come back. Is that why you couldn't tell him the reason earlier? Yes. That was the reason. If I told him the truth, he would tell me to come back anyway. I had to hide the truth to protect him. That is why I ran off alone. I was terrified deep down, just as you were. Falcomon, to be honest, I'm still scared even now. I see it every time I close my eyes, Rion Shuji's last moments. What happens when the hands grab you in the fog? What's it like to die? That's all I can think about, and it makes me so scared. I always joke around, but really, I'm just weak. Totally weak. But if I want to survive, I gotta stop being such a coward. 
I know that now. Even if I know I might be wrong, I have to find the courage to step forward and go on. Not being able to fight doesn't mean I can keep being so weak. I trust you, Falcomon. And I want to survive this together with you. So please, I want you to help me. Please. Very well. I trust you now, and myself too. I will help and protect you as I swore to do when we first met. Falcomon. Yay, they're friends again. Congrats, Minoru. I'm glad you're back on track. Uh, right, thanks. I think this calls for a handshake to seal the deal. Go ahead, shake hands. We shook hands and we meet up, didn't we? We sure did. So they should too. Uh, okay. I look forward to working with you again, Minoru. Yeah, me too, Falcomon. Uh, I'm feeling tired, though. Don't tell me we have to chase them now. No, we're too exhausted. Let's check our equipment and rest. Cool. Let's head back then. I was feeling hungry anyway. Yeah, I can't wait to get back. And our partners deserve a nice meal every now and then. What do you mean every now and then? Don't get mad. I'm joking. Looks like everyone's back to normal. Better than before, even. I think so, too. What a relief. Whoo! A definitive happy ending for this part. Ah! Oh, that just means that something really bad's gonna happen next time. <laughs> I'm tired. That was a tough fight. Everyone else must be tired too. I hope they can rest well. I'm glad everyone's back on good terms. That was my biggest concern. But a few things are still bothering me. What if Haru and the Professor and Gururamon's attitude? What's going on? Remember to stay hydrated. I have no idea, but we're definitely getting closer to entering the enemy base. Takuma, you look like something's bothering you again. Yeah, thinking about everything going on makes my head spin. I know I should get some rest, but I don't feel like sleeping. Prof oh no, Kaido. I thought maybe Professor. Huh? You're here. Oh, Kaido. You couldn't fall asleep either, huh? I fell asleep just fine, but then I woke up. That's all. And when he woke up, you were gone, so he came looking for you. That's not how it happened. Kaido argues more quietly at night. He's more considerate than I thought. If you can't sleep, eat something, and at least lie down. If you're too hot or cold, then that to remove some blankets. What's with the silent act? Uh, nothing, I'm just a little surprised. Surprised? By what? You're fussing over me so much, I thought you must be really worried. Me? Yeah, right. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow we head to the enemy base, so get some rest. Alrighty, good night, and sleep dreams. Good night to you too. Thanks. Good night! There's still so much. Go. Kaido's pretty thoughtful after all. He's right. I shouldn't waste energy thinking. I should get to bed. My head feels better now, too. Thanks to him, I feel like I'm going to sleep well. Yay! Does that mean we could have lost him? We could have lost uh, the boy Kaito, that part. <laughs> I am ready for the report. This guy in the forest. Marukinimon, what of the maiden? Well, you see, Gururuman captured her once, and he met with fierce resistance. The priestess. The maiden. The priestess. Weirdness. She has escaped. The enemy revolted against my plan. It's all because of Gururuman let her go. Your plan was flawed. That's all that needs to be said. So the one who screwed the strategy up wants to make it my fault? I had pacified the children. They were easier to hunt. You wasted all that. Enough with the excuses. Uh, Collecting sacrifices is our true calling. We shall see how dangerous they really are. Do not lose sight of our priorities. 
I just also realized this guy's a lot slimmer than I thought he was. His cape really makes him seem wide. And he has little bells. A little heart earring. And then an earring that lacks a heart. Interesting. My master seeks the priestess. I care not how it is done. Bring the priestess to me here. I shall not tolerate another failure. Do you understand me? Fear. Yes, my liege. Absolutely. The priestess shall be brought here. You'd think I would have killed her by now. She failed. Uh, I guess she technically did lead to the death of Shuji, so maybe counted as like a partial win. Uh, ceiling! Oh, you're finally awake. Good morning, Takuma. You're the last one up. It's pretty amazing how well you slept in in spite of everything. Minoru, what? Um, hey, are you still half asleep? You're okay? Come on, tell me. What are you doing today? Today we're... Um, why is that the moral answer? That feels weird. We're gonna do school. We're going to the western base. There's another island past the underground waterway. I saw a factory to the west. We'll check it out and find someone who knows the border between worlds, Gigi Mon mentioned. But the thing is, I'll probably be the boss who keeps attacking us. That's why I think there'll be a fight. We gotta get moving. Okay now, you're finally awake. What about the others? They went for a walk when they woke up. They are free to do so until breakfast. Once we eat, we shall leave. Oh, in that case, tell them that Sleepyhead is awake and see how they are. Let's leave them be. We're gonna take a look around too. A hearty walk before breakfast. Come on, Takuma. Okay then, see you at breakfast. Free action. Deep woods unlocked. I'm going to assume this is their ultimate. Okay, ooh boy, we only have seven. Seven diddly da. Seven diddly da. Let me also check my wrong status. Profile. Hmm. I should probably put some affinity into Mew. Minoru, Aoi, Kaito. And like, I want to go see the professor, but let's go deep woods. Never fear, Minoru's here. Eh, ah, too cookie cutter, but mm, familiar ain't bad either. Huh, is that Minoru? What's he muttering to himself about? Uh, maybe you'll rue the day you cross paths of Minoru. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then again, maybe a superhero name would be better. Still can't think of anything that'd make for a good logo. Ha! <laughs> Everyone's a critic. Why don't you get a blog about it if you're such a... Uh. Hey, Mineral, we got enemies! Yo, Takuma, did you hear all that? Who cares about that? Look ahead, they're coming right at you! Shisha! Oh, jeez. Ah! Look out, Mineral! Oh, come on. You came for me, buddy? Wandering off on your own like a lost lamb. Of course I found you spacing out here. Hey, come on, man. You're making me feel a little sheepish over here. Clearly this is no time for a spat. Stand behind us, Takuma. And you, Minoru, stand somewhere safe. Okay, come on, Minoru, let's back off. Mal Falcomon's fighting. I can't be the only one out of harm's way. I mean, a hero would never do something so lame, would he? Minoru? I, I didn't say nothing. And anyway, I may not be able to do anything, but I can't just stand back and watch. Yeah! Hmm, then do as you please. Here they come! Talk about strong! Don't go overboard, Falcomon! I have no choice! No one else here can fight! I must hold my ground somehow, even if it looks hopeless! If I was more like a hero, maybe things wouldn't be like this. Minoru, there's no point in saying superficial crap like a cra catch face. If I was more incredible on the inside where it counts, I could deal with problems. And that's not true, Minoru. The heck it isn't. If I was more useful human being, then... 
Perish the thought, my boy. You have already begun ascertaining a strength all your own. Asser what thing? I want to be someone. I want to be strong. Such pure desires. These are the feelings that will call strength to you. Call strength to me. Can I make you stronger? Like Takuma did with Agumon? I believe we can do this. I like Agumon and you like Takuma. You and I possess the power to soar! Falcomon? This is our time to shine, Minoru. We are just getting started. Ultimate time. Everyone only goes ultimate in the deep woods, except for Agumon. He goes ultimate in the sewers. Ooh, what's this? Have I? Let me see your face. I have not seen you before. He, he wears a crown. He looks cool. Yatagaramun. Chromon. That is not. That does not sound like what that was. What he said. Well, now this will do nicely. That form. Sorry about the wait. Now it's our turn. Hell yeah. I can just go up there and smack him if I want. I'm gonna just go up there and smack him. Fuck you, buddy. Top! He can move twice! Let me take a look. Chance of moving once more after you... <laughs> oh, but uh, it means I can't attack afterwards. But that's kind of neat. That is still very recon. You mean to tell me that you can go... Are you fucking serious, man? That is a uh, hilarious. Chromon for the win! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, move amount boosted. Huh, but we already moved nah, that. Oh well. I should have done move amount boosted, then went up brown from the back and slammed him. But the fact that he has a chance to move if you don't do a diddly D, that's utterly amazing, man. And that his freaking thing has so much range, and it is a multi hit if you can line enemies up. Yes, super movement daddy? Please! Incredible. Falcomon's is strong after evolving. All right, Falcomon beat him to a pulp. That's my boy. Hold up, you ain't Falcomon. You ain't even a boy. What am I supposed to call you? You can call me Chromon when I look like this. Chromon. My bond with you helped guide me to this form. You had it in you all along. The power to take flight. The strength and heart to soar towards the heavens. The strength of heart. Not sure I get it considering how I was freaking out just a second ago, but... You think I've gotten strong enough to help you change like that? I honestly can't see it. Well, it isn't as if you lack room to grow. Ah, well, yeah, sure, I get that. Still, I believe you've gained something from this predicament. A reason to grow stronger, perhaps. Or some goal that requires power. Some goal, huh? I'm certain that you figured out the type of person you wanted to be in that crisis. Knowing one's own desire will become the courage to embark towards greater heights. This form is proof of your courage and the start of that journey. Huh, I think I get it. Thanks for backing me up, Chromon. No need to thank me. I believe that you and I shall be as one someday, soaring freely through the ether. And plain English, please? You don't need to understand. What do you mean? Soaring freely through the ether. I can see that. Two wings on the same great bird. I bet Chromon's trying to tell Minoru how far they can go if they work together. I had my reservations about those two. I'm glad to see things worked out. Hell yeah, Chromon is beasting! Kinda expected him to go ultimate in the fight of Garurumon, gonna be honest, but hey, this is still awesome. And another perfect enlightenment slab. But hell yeah. Hmm, I could talk to Agumon, but that might not lead into anything, and I really should. Diddly do. Where's the professor? Hmm. 
one of the professors anywhere else. We can only go to the forest area, but it says there's nobody here. They it doesn't consume movement, so let's go look for things. Ah, we're gonna get another diddly dee, another memory fragment. That shadow. Fight me! Fight me! Kill me! Let's do a full cannon team. Level them up heartily. Well, actually, the low movement teammates should probably be in front. And there's a biggie big over there. You're gonna go for that, definitely. First, we should. Mm, should we talk? Hmm, let's try and get the Bergeron on our side first thing. Bergeron, is wanting a quiet time to yourself such a crime? No, but it's not easy. Hmm, looking at this monster really puts your heart at ease, doesn't it? What a gentle soul! How do clouds in the sky look to you? Hmm. Always transforming. Huzzah! Come join my team, Bergeron. We can be pals! 69! Nice. Double nice! Alright, evolution for the boy. Go ahead and move him up there. Love that so much. And he gets to guard afterwards. Hell to the yeah. I'm kind of worried about your triple path thing there, Labramon. Makes me ever so slightly worried that things might happen. I wonder if you're tied into the dibbity bop. Like, whatever system dictates that... M Agumon became Tyranimon, then Metal Garurumon, like, whatever, and, like, none of the other options have come forward, so... Whatever the diddly D that's about. The bitch ran away! I should also probably feed the main Digimon more stat stuff. Just Digivolve everybody. Metal Greymon Canada. My favorite Digimon. <laughs> Digimon, Digimon, Digivolve everyone. Siakumon, Digivolved into uh, Jiggle Physics. Go over there and smack him. Yeah. Destroy. We don't need none of you. Oh. Guess I'll move about. So why not? And we'll just hunt him down, I guess. Now you go over there and smite this little, little, little bastard. I wonder how cruel it is from the perspective of these Digimon that have come to attack me. They went ultimate to fight us. They are abusing the hearts of children. Are you going to come fight me? Not really, no. Fight me, you coward! Fight me, you fiery poser! Please, well, you gave me time to do this. Smiggity smack. Anti fire crystal. 
the fact that he gets so much movement. Love. Does it look like I'm scared of you? We're coming to smite you, little man. We're coming to fuck you up, little boy. Little fireman. And he's running away again. That's not gonna save you. Just makes us angrier. Love the double movement. Love it. If only I could increase, like, their total movement, but you can only upgrade their, like, speed. Well, I mean, technically, I could just, uh... Come here and smite him and leave room for anybody else if he lives. Ah, he might live. He did not live. Would be interesting to understand what the Digimon say, like, in the battles that are not subtitled. Oh yeah, I forgot we got a Bergerman. And I'm just like, never gonna level them up. All that was there was a fight. Alright, we went to the Spider Lily Forest. Let's go to Woods by the Shrine. Hope I don't get jumped. Thoramon? Yeah, what the- why here of all places? And I can fucking talk to you? I'm definitely gonna save. Oh, I think I reached the max save, so we have to go all the way back if we want to do this. I'm doing this because usually talking to the Digimon don't really accrue much. Can I ask you something, Takuma? How do you feel about Saki? Huh? What makes you ask that? It's nothing weird. I'm just curious if you think she's okay. She does things her own way and puts on a show of being happy, but it's hard to tell. She's just a normal kid, though. She's excited when she's happy and gets down when she's sad. She has her share of worries, but if she tries to work out alone, she struggles. She tries real hard to look like she's okay, but I wanted I, you to know how she feels. I see what you mean, but why me? You haven't noticed? She trusts me. Really? It seems strange that you haven't noticed. You've always been so close to her. That's why I want, to keep you, want you to keep her in mind. I've been close to Saki. That's good, I guess, but Saki's kind of moody, though. Would I be able to get closer? I'll just do the best I can. I don't know, but I'll do my best. That's very vague of you. I have no idea what I've been doing up until now, so... But I'm glad Saki trusts me. I'll do whatever I can. Is that okay? I guess that's all you can do. I'll take that answer. I don't mean to make a big deal about it or anything, but please take this. Awesome, Quake. I'll leave Saki to you. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that. It's a nice character moment thingy. Just kind of odd that it's like, surprise, Floramon! <laughs> oh wait, I was already here. And then I guess, did the, did the fight respawn? Did the fight respawn? Huh, so if you, huh, I'll run away for now. That's interesting that you can do that though. If I knew that, I would have farmed a Gatomon. Now then, what to do? Grass. Takuma, I'm getting kind of an odd feeling from this place. Really? It doesn't seem all that strange to me. Still, I guess it wouldn't hurt to be careful. Maybe if we had some other way to investigate. Hmm. Normally they... We're gonna go do that one first. Crisp apple. Okay, let's see. Whose stats are the lowest? He's pretty good with the, with his mainly being speed, defense, and yeah, speed and his defenses. You need lots of defense. I think you need the most defense. Yeah, you're up there. Drachmon's also kind of low. Your stats are kind of equal all around. So I feel like I need to upgrade your attack, and I need to upgrade your defense, because your stats are, like, even kind of low across the board, and you're also, like, the lower, but I feel like I should... Let's see. Because we have lots. 
but we only have a bit. Speed. Who needs speed the most? Mm, oddly enough, you. Let's give you an earnest banana. Alright, what's next on the list? Crisp Apple. Who needs better physical defense? The one who needs physical defense the most is you, little man! Giant Odd Mushroom. Who needs extra health? You need extra health. Alright, who needs more SP? Oddly enough, it's you. Alright, who needs more special attack? Once again, you. Alright, who needs more special defense? Once again, you. Now we have Clobber Carrot, who needs more special attack. Once again, you. Giant Mushroom, who needs health? Not you. Still you. All Out Banana, all right, who needs speed the most? First is you. And next appears to be Agumon. Let's raise you on up. Crunchy Apple, who needs physical defense. Oddly, in this case, it is you. Who needs more physical attack, even though physical attack doesn't really do much over all all, because most of our attacks are special. I'll give you one. I'll give them both to you, since you're kind of even across the board on your power. Hmm. Diddly D. And again, since you're kind of even across, but at the same time, it's a 20. I think I'll give it to you, or at least one to you. And... Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, let's go get another one to you, because why not? The things are done. Let's go all the way back to save number one. And, uh, attack. Tentomon! Oh, my there, that's it. That's the source of the weird feeling. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what's going on, y'all? Uh, why is Tentamon always the one who gets a country accent in these games? I'm just passing through, y'all. Please, leave me be. It's not attacking. It's not an enemy. It might be friendly if we say the right thing. Hey there. Hmm. This seems like a recruitment opportunity. Hmm. I'd say it's dangerous here. It's dangerous to stay here. The enemy might attack at any moment. Enemy, what are y'all on about? Who are y'all anyway? Who? I'm just a human. And I'm supposed to trust a who man who just post pops out shouting at me? Oh yeah, I guess I can't blame you. Forget y'all, I'm seeing myself out. I shall rewind time to grab you. Because I shall. Because why not? I probably won't do anything with you, but you'll become a part of my army. Do you want to come with us? Huh. What do you mean by that? It's just we're heading to a big fight now. I really need help, and I was hoping you might join us. Wait, sorry, I know you have no reason to trust, do a stranger any favors, but... Fine by me. That's okay, I knew it was a long shot. Wait, what? Are you sure? Fine by me. I was just feeling lonesome, myself. It's hard trying to scare up... Who didn't save you all on your own? Uh, folks I've been living with, uh, living here with since forever have started being disagreeable. 
getting all violent and stuff, and they get mad at the drop of a hat. And I kind of like how y'all are straight with me. No lies are on y'all's face. I like y'all. I'll go with y'all, sure. Good job, Tacoma. Honesty worked. I guess so. Nice to meet you. Name's Tintamon. Nice to meet y'all. And now he will be stuck in the party, probably not doing anything forever. And now we need to... Because uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven diddlies. So somebody's not getting... Hmm, probably the Agumon one, because, again, I already did one Digimon not forwarding. So let's do Mew, because she's the lowest on the infinity right now. Is that Mew? Maybe I should talk to her before the final battle. Just saying this is the final battle? Just come out and straight? How, I wonder how many parts this game has. I don't want to look it up because I want to be surprised, but it feels a little quick. Do you think our strategy for today will work out okay? Why would you ask that all of a sudden? You were raring to go earlier, like, on to the final boss, stuff like that. It's not that I think our strategy won't work, it's just... It's, the, it's not the enemies that scare me. She's scared her brother might do something crazy. Why is that? You know how he is, right? He doesn't just get into things. He really gets carried away. Like he said he was going to run up ahead in the forest to warm up. I'm afraid when it comes right down to it, he'll mess things up. This time, it's about whether or not Mew can make it back to your world. No wonder her brother's more pumped up than usual. Maybe too pumped up. You should go remind him to keep his cool and not get out of control. Who, me? Kaido's definitely liable to do something wild if he thinks it'll help Mew. But I doubt it'll change anything if I tell him to calm down. That's still better than saying nothing, though, right? Or is it? Well, we should go say we'll go talk to him. I will go talk to him. It seems like the right idea. Gotcha. I'll try to have a talk with him at some point. Because that's what I would have done anyway. Yeah, I knew you'd do it, Takuma. But I can't make any promises. It's all about timing, after all. I'm sure he has his own line of thinking about what he's doing. Okay, that works for me. I'm just relieved to know you'll be keeping an eye on him. I'm glad you trust me, but I still feel like I'm being pressured. Well, she is your highness, Mew. Kaido, huh? We may have a tough battle ahead of us. I should talk to him beforehand. That's another thing. This is like, potentially, the final talky talk before things really go down. This is it, finally. I'm just itching to do this. Just you wait. I'm going all out today. Well, you're really fired up, Kaido. I hope you're not scared, Takuma. You've got to look out for yourself, you know. Uh, yeah, well, sure. If you feel like you're not ready yet, you can train some more in the forest first. No matter what we do, I don't think anything will change. That's right, and it's us who will be fighting. So the enemy won't attack those who can't fight? Man, no. Don't be so naive. In the end, you can only count on yourself. If Kaido says so, maybe I should try to. You're the leader, after all. Me? The leader? What makes you say that? You've taken charge lately, right? No one objected, so that makes you the leader. It's as simple as that. I'm the leader. Never thought of that. I'm glad they all trust me, but that means I gotta work that much harder. Can I handle the responsibility? <laughs> I can't believe it. It's hard to believe. I've never been in charge of anything before. It'll take some getting used to, that's all. Lead us all well, Takuma. I got your back too! Okay then, gotta try at least. It's weird, but I'm kinda glad. Kind of interesting, he's the first one to really <laughs> poke it. Goggle Boy is leader. Well, I won't let you down. Leader me, I won't let you down. Yeah, I can see you like the sound of it. Don't let us down, man. Okay then, I'll do what I can. That's weird, but I'm kinda glad. Kind of nice that he has our back there. Hmm. I'm going to save and quickly have a chat, because, like, hmm. I should see, because I have four more that I can do. 
There's Saki, Aoi, the twins, Minoru. So I think, yeah, there's uh, time enough for all. Hopefully. Who is the lowest on my profile, just to be sure? Seems to be Minoru. Let's go talk to Minoru. I think he passed over his doomsday bump, but still. Oh, it's Minoru. We've got the final battle coming up. Maybe we should talk first. Hey, I haven't thanked you two properly yet. Huh? For what? What do you mean, for what? You helped us work things out. Me and Minoru were running around like crazy. All that. No need to thank us. But, like, it's so annoying Falcomon tells me to be reasonable. He wanted to say thanks. Minoru was really embarrassed. I can tell he's speaking from the heart. I'm starting to feel embarrassed, too. I could poke fun at him or stay serious. It's hard getting a read on these people. Hm. You're welcome, man. But there's nothing to thank us for. Minerva and Falcomon, you didn't take such good care of each other. You're the ones who decided to put in the work to patch things up. Oh, you two. Ha <laughs> ha! We never could have done it if it wasn't for you. So at least let me say thank you, all right? <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, it just kicked me out of the room. What? Why did everyone move? Well. If... Well, I guess I'll have to cut out talking to Saki if this cuts into my thing, because I do want to get the scoop on the on the twins. Don't know why it went away now, but okay. What? Professor, where are you What's going? Oh, oh, yes, to the shrine. Kimonogamy Shrine? Yes. This is a critical moment, and I realized I'd better check something before we leave. For example, Agumon, one of the murals in your world, our world has an image of you. About me? The form and name written there match your information exactly. So if that means of other, so if the names of other Kimonogamy are also written on that wall, it might help us when we face them in battle. Yes. I'm not certain that the wall in our world is the same as in the shrine. And I'm not sure I could even read the marks. Yet I need to be certain. For you and for those, Kimonogami. Professor. Uh, thanks. I already had breakfast, so no need to worry about me. I'll be back later. Show him the picture! Show him the picture! Oh! Did the professor mean Garuman when he said those Kimonogami? What should we do, Takuma? Should we join the others? Yeah, we need to get ready to leave soon. Let's leave the professor alone for a bit. Kind of weird that it's like, No, you go to shrine. Shrine only. 1v1 me, scrub. Oh, and the kids dang moved. Hmm. Almost makes me want to reload. Because, again, I wish... What's the point of a move counter if I cannot get an accurate notation of what things go where? Okay. Because that was talking to Minoru, and Minoru was the lowest. I'll make a save. Then we will reload. Because that was before we went into the classroom. Because, yeah, that's just kind of ever so slightly bothersome. The game's like, you can go here. And there's like, ha, psych, move around. It's Miyuki and Haru. We've got a fight coming up. Should I talk to them beforehand? Let's talk to Haru. Takuma, should I stay here with Miyuki? Huh? You mean you won't go to the factory? Yeah, Miyuki seems a little off. We might have given her a shock to be captured by Gururuman like that. And we don't want her getting too overwhelmed, right? I understand being concerned about Miyuki. She's been through some scary things. But is it safe for them to stay here without monsters to protect them? Might be better to stick together. I'm sure Haru understands that. Why is what does she want wrathful? We gotta get home. It might be tough for Miyuki now. But we gotta all get home together somehow. What do you mean? 
No one knows what's going to happen when we're going today. Once we're in the factory, we might suddenly get sent back to our world. But if that happened to us, you and Miyuki would be left here alone. When you put it that way... Let's go together, Haru. I'm worried about you, too. Okay, fine. We'll do it your way. You should worry about yourself more than me. Oh, yeah. Go on and take this. Great growth stones. Should probably use those, too. Then I get booted. Go talk to the professor. Yeah, because just ever so slightly <laughs> aggravating that the game does that sometimes. I have a plan, game. I plan out my moves. And then the game is like, heedly he, kicking the nards. And now I only have two moves, which should be, oh no, oh, it didn't take a move, but it just moved the people around. But it did also get rid of the kids. All right, now we'll go to Minoru. Talk to Minoru. Oh, Takuma, hi. Don't tell me you're lazing around. Are you ready to leave? Oops, not yet. So you're just on a walk? Must be nice to have all that spare time. Why are you fooling around now? Can't you take this seriously? If you've got time to wander around, you should be finished getting ready. Oop, don't think I yelled at. I want to see how everyone is doing, but you have to walk around to do that. Maybe I'm just nervous. Seeing their faces is reassuring. Will I feel better if I talk to them? I hope I'm not leaning on them too much. Now this one's even weirder. Actually, I'm nervous. I must be nervous before the fighting. I just started walking around. Really? You get nervous too? Do not judge him so harshly. Takuma's a human child too, after all. Just relax. This battle's not that big of a deal. We walk into that base, and if the enemy comes at us, we defeat him. Simple, right? Do some stretches. Get the tension out. Huh, they're kinder to me than I thought. Thanks, everyone. I'll stretch and then start getting ready. Hmm. Now I'm just eager what the other things have to say. Because, again, the moving around threw me off more than usual. How's everyone doing? I was wondering how everyone was doing before the battle. I wanted to see your faces. Snooping around just like always, huh? No, oh, no, I'm sure Takuma had good intentions. Don't be so harsh on him, right, Jackman? You're right. We shouldn't take it out on him just because we're nervous. The silent treatment. Our apologies for having worried you, Takuma. We are fine. Okay, I'll keep looking around a bit more and then finish getting ready. Hmm. I wonder if they have, like, no distinction between them if it's just, hey, what do you want to say? Even though usually in this section it is affinity up section time. Just looking around. Just wanted to look around. I had some free time on my hands. Must be nice. Now, now, might be important. A walk before battle calms your nerves. It is important to stay calm, Minoru. You can learn from Takuma. Don't drag me into this. No matter. You need to get ready, too. No excuse for oversleeping and lateness. Okay, okay. And then I'll reload and go for the initial one. Huh. Odd. Well, looks like that's the end of my affinity gains. Once again. Would be nice if game told me about such things. This feels like it would be the time, like, without any bibbidi-bop. Yeah, it just feels weird. I guess they're like, we want to put your actions to a specific order. Is that Aoi and Saki? They're getting ready for the final battle. I should talk to them. Hello, you two. Hey there, Ali, Saki. Getting our things ready? Food, food, yummy food. Hey, no snacking. I'm not. <laughs> Is the bag low on nuts all of a sudden? Oh, you're right. Maybe someone ate some? Don't look at me. I never said I suspected you. It wasn't me either. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, Takuma, what are you doing here? I oh, was just passing by. Wait, was it you who ate the missing nuts? What? No way. It seems like something you do. Really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't be so serious. Always joking. I was just teasing. Don't take it the wrong way. Oh, have the rest of the nuts as an apology. Go on, Takuma. Take them. 
We don't need need to add to the ba uh, that bag to the pile anyway, so it's special just for you. And now I want to check my items, because I haven't been checking them. Photo of the siblings. Yep. So I can't really use it anywhere. It would be interesting. Middle of the conversation. Look at this photograph. They look good, since they were a gift. Let me save them from when I need them. One last conversation. How are the rest of the nuts? Good. <laughs> we don't need them, so... Okay. Hey, no snacking. <laughs> and let's see. Is there anything different, or is this going to be the same thing? Yeah, it's just the same thing. And that leaves Mew outside. Danger, 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 danger. Danger, danger, danger. Fear. Is that Mew? Maybe I should talk to her before the final battle. What's that over there? It's a powerful pineapple. Nom 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 nom. Takuma, perfect timing. I just saw this weird creature over there. It was eating something, but when it noticed me, it ran. Right, Siakuman? Yeah, I saw it too. It looked kind of like... Uh, it was kind of eating some sort of nuts. I see, that worries me a little. Is it still nearby? Whatever it is, it's gonna pay. How dare they take my food like that? What? What's wrong? Oh, sorry, I just got surprised because my cell phone went off. Oh yeah, those. Great, another one of these weird messages. What's going on with these things? The garbled texts? I've just been ignoring them because they don't make any sense. I wonder if they're like a code, something tied to the secret of this world. Uh, maybe? Anyway, I'm going to look around for that monster. Yeah, okay, good luck. Do I even get to look around for the monster? Apparently I get to look around for the monster. <laughs> that was delicious! Now that we're done with breakfast, it's time to be moving out. You're right. At long last. Is it cool if I bring a banana or something? Are we allowed to have snacks? What are you blabbering about, you baby? I thought we'd use some comic relief. Bananas ain't snacks in a battle ain't a field trip. It might be a battle, but we're not meaning to utterly defeat them, right? You're right, of course. If we can get that information without fighting, that'd be great. But based on their actions up until now, I think that'll be difficult. We need to be ready if it turns into a fight anyway. Now, you're right. Sorry. I know we already decided that. This ain't the time for a gab fest. Let's get a move on. Yeah, is everybody ready? Yep, yep, yep. The professor's not here. What? Come to think of it, he's not back from the shrine yet. Well, I'd better go look for him. Get all of you head the, to the underground waterway. I'll take Agumon and find the professor. We'll meet you there. Got it. We're off then. Hurry up and join us, Takuma. <coughs> I hope he didn't get attacked again. No, it looks like the same... Well, is it the same one? Hang on, the professor's not here? Where'd he go? Is that the professor going la la la? La la la! What's that noise? Humming? I've heard that tune before. He's totally Haru. Then again, that also doesn't explain why we saw the ghosts of children past with Haru and Miyuki up in the second floor of the Diddly D. Unless it was like, oh, the walls of the worlds are thinning and you could like see them, but man, but man. Deeper in. Those stairs are down. Were they always there? The professor might be down there. Let's go find out. It's a doorway. La la la. Hmm? Oh, it's you. That's not as well. Oh, it's you. Don't tell me it's time for us to go already. Sorry I'm late. I came into the shrine and found those stairs. I wanted to look inside. Seems like I lost track of time. Well, that's freaky. Wait. Two portals. There's a mural on this floor, too. So, one side seems to be sucking humans in, and the other seems to be throwing humans out. But, like, as Digimon? Like, I don't know. Left side is obviously dragging in. Right side seems to be throwing a Digimon out, but with humans also kind of flying about. There's a mural on this floor too. 
A new discovery like this is enough to get any scholar worked up. It's more abstract than the one upstairs, so it's harder to decipher, too. The professor seems excited. It's like he's both worried and happy at the same time. But why have we never seen those stairs before? We must have missed them somehow. Or maybe someone cleared the way. It would have been recent. There must be some connection. Don't get lost in thought again, Professor. Right, we just came to get you. But hang on. Professor, did you figure out what you were working on before? Yes, to a degree, but... It's just the three of us here now. This might be my chance to ask something if I couldn't in front of the others. I still wonder about Haru and that mystery. What was he talking about that at the apartment? There was some kind of connection to Gururumon. Why, though? Gururumon is our enemy. And when then that humming, why was he humming Miyuki's song? So many questions. Where should I start? Ooh, is this one of the I get to ask all of them? That would be nice. Can I give him the picture? Let's start off light. Oh, wait. Nope, it's a dilidi. So let's start. That tune he hummed. That song you were humming just now. What's it called? You know, I don't actually know myself. What? But you're the one who was humming it. How can you not know what it was? Yes, I know it from somewhere, but I can't recall exactly where. Music is said to be linked with our other associated memories in the mind. But only this memory remains in what's left of my old brain. Ah, but if you've forgotten it now, then it must have been years ago when you learned it. Yes, you would think so, but it's possible that I didn't just forget it due to my age. What makes you say that? I lost my sister. He's Haru. I lost my sister when I was young. Oh, I don't mean that she died, but rather that she was spirited away. They tell me I was with her when it happened, but I have no memory of it at all. When something terrible happens, sometimes the mind blocks the memories as a defense. But this... This is what I think. That tune has something to do with my sister. And it might be a small clue as to how I could recover the memory of her loss. It's less of a theory and more of a desperate hope. A clue to a lost memory. This is no ordinary tune for him. It might be very important. There's more. Haru. Professor, can you tell me what you meant when you spoke with Haru yesterday? With Haru? What do you mean? I'm sorry. I saw the two of you speaking yesterday at the apartment complex. Oh, that. I do want to answer your questions. But honestly, I'm just as interested in finding out who he is as you are. What do you mean? It would have been many years ago. I can scarcely recall at this point. But there's something about the way he appears. I... Professor, what are you talking about? No, no, never mind. It's hard to find the words. It would have been easier when I was younger. I sure do hate getting older. Seems like the professor is confused too. He doesn't seem to be hiding anything. He might simply not know. I wish that I could be like, look at this photograph, old man. Can I use the photo of the siblings? I want to use it. But there's more. Garurumon. Have you met Garurumon before? He seemed to be pretty concerned about you yesterday for some reason. Do you doubt me? Do you think I'm working with the enemy? No, that's not it at all. I was just wondering. <laughs> it's fine, Takuma. I'm sorry for being so blunt just now. Believe me, I have no intention of hiding things or otherwise deceiving you. It's just... My memory is so vague. There's so much I can't be sure of. Can't be sure of? But wasn't it just yesterday? No, no. I think I first met Gururumon when I was quite the younger man, I think. What? You met Gururumon when you were a kid? Indeed, and among my memories, I think he was beside me in my fear. But was Gururumon an enemy back then too? Or was he a friend like Agumon? I wonder. I don't remember a thing, and yet... Yes, I'm sure I know him somehow. Well, Garurumon certainly seemed to remember you. Did you do something that might have made him angry? I don't know. If I could remember, it wouldn't be a problem, now would it? The professor looks pretty upset. He must not remember. I wonder what the heck happened with Garurumon. I think I've asked enough for now. Takuma, why don't you show him that thing to the professor? That thing? Oh, the photo? Photo? It's something I found back in that room. I grabbed it because it caught my eye. Please, tell me your thoughts, Professor. Here it is. This is Miyuki and Haru. No. Oh, yes. Maybe? Professor, are you okay? I'm sorry. A partial memory resurfaced. When the professor looked at this photo, some memories started coming back. In this photo, 
I see myself as a child. And my sister, I think. Called it. I called it. Like, the moment that, like, like it's not even that big of a, ooh, I got him. Because it was pretty obvious. Haru was a ghost child at the beginning with a freaky ghost face. Haru went sent through a portal in the prologue, so obviously couldn't have been there. But that still remains. What the fuck is a Haru now? Probably Renamon. Say what? I don't know if you'll believe me, but Haru looks exactly like me as a boy. And Haru was the nickname my sister called me when we were younger. You mean your sister? My sister's name was Miyuki. Yes, I remember now. That room in that apartment complex is where my sister and I grew up. What? Seriously? But what does that even mean? What's going on here? I too have absolutely no idea what is happening. I wish I could remember what the memory might signify. I, why? Who are these people I don't know, and yet who resemble my sister and me so? Professor, this childhood was a long time ago. The resemblance might be a coincidence. But then why would Haru want to speak with the professor in that exact room? He's gone all pale. What questions might be too much for him? It's pointless if he doesn't understand. I should let it go for now. Is there something else we could talk about? Let's go back there. We should pass that apartment complex as we head west to the factory from here. Let's check it out one more time. It might help you remember something else. Yes, it might indeed. But the right stimulus for my memories. Guruman seems to know Haru, Miyuki, and the professor. There must be a big secret that involves all three of them. Everyone might be waiting for us. We should hurry. You're right. Can you walk, Professor? Oh, I'm fine. I'm sorry my behavior has been so disgraceful. If my memories return, I will tell you everything. All right. Please take it easy, Professor. Like, I knew it. I knew it. Like, the moment that it was just like, there's no way that this is Haru. He's acting too weird. Hey, everybody. Sorry it took so long. There you are. Man, that took forever. What gives? And that goes for you too, Professor. I apologize. I lost all track of time. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about our chances. Sorry, sorry, but we're all together now. We're off then, into the canal. It's a little scary being back here, but there's no point in whining about it. Are we ready? Let's go kick the crap out of them. Yeah, let's go. The only way out is forward. On and on we go. To the doomsday land. Drakmon. Are there enemies here? Not a one. Not even the faintest whiff of one. That's good. Come on, everybody. Thanks for keeping an eye on Drakmon. You were great. Working so hard. We need to know if the enemy is out there, but maybe the surveillance is too much? We lose nothing with such surveillance. But we cannot relax just because they are not here now. I got it already. Especially here. Especially here. We're near where Shuji died. Try not to dwell on it, Saki. It's just forgetting what happened doesn't seem like the right thing to do. You're right. It's not like we can pretend it didn't happen. It's natural to feel that way. It's not a bad thing. We couldn't avoid it anyway. It would be silly to look around for another route. Yes, you're right. Let's keep going. It's fine. We're different today. If the same thing happens again, we won't hesitate. That's true. But still, let's hurry past this place. Into the doom and gloom of doom and death. Waterway unlocked. <laughs> my only choice! It's my favorite choice! My only choice! It's where the bad things happen. It's where the fear is. Welp, let's go to the waterway and hope that we don't die. We've not seen any enemies yet. It seems safe so far. One more push forward. Uh, I can't wait to see some sunshine again. It's our kitty, Mom. Uh, I, did you just laugh? Me? No, I didn't. Was it Saki then? What's there to laugh about? But I'm certain I heard laughter. What do you seek? For I am here, yes, here. It's behind you. 
What he said. What she screamed. Instant battle time? Does not seem to be. Where did it come from? You didn't notice it, Dragmon? Hang on, there's no way it was in front of us. What magic is it using? My, my, aren't you cool ganging up on it like that? I could easily slip past your vision if I chose to do so. You understand this, right? Or Kenimon, you finally decided to take us on directly. <laughs> in perfect timing, too. i just been thinking of heading your way. Here you were, plodding along, coming to capture me. How foolish in the extreme. You only just realized that, Mew. As if. Get behind me, Mew! I don't like this. Hang on, or Kenimon. You say you want to capture us. You don't want us dead. You plan to capture us and use us in some way. That was perhaps a slip of the tongue, but aren't you clever, little child? Your inexplicable knowledge has continued to befoul my plans. It's not our fault. You only have yourself to blame. You attack indiscriminately and then deny responsibility. That is why your plans fail. How very dare you? You think it will be that easy? You are very... You are all about to disappear. Just as the other two disappeared, begging and crying as they went. Asshole. I don't think so. You seem awfully calm about this. You did take us by surprise, but we're not yours to command. What, what is happening? But this is my last chance. My very last chance. Your last chance? It's all your fault. My life, my world, I cannot let you escape any longer. Our life and world? Is there any re a reason why our Kenimon has attacked us? So then maybe we can negotiate. We don't have to be friends, but we might be able to avoid a battle. Should I try? Hmm. Because the thing is, she's way too wrapped up in her old shtick, that asking for cooperation. Hmm. I also want to quickly check my stats. Hmm. Very much morale. Morale. Eh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it safe. I don't think we can trust her. And besides, these usually don't have an effect on the plot. Can you tell us what you're after? Kuma, are you thinking you can negotiate for our Kinemon? Quiet. When I draw our attention, all of you are going to escape. What? But was it you who said you didn't want to stay here? Our Kinemon is tough. We need to find a, from a better tactical position. Aren't we past the time for negotiations? I don't know what you're up to, but I have nothing to tell you. Damn it. Here it comes. Get ready. And of course, our main team. You'll go in the back. Oh. Hmm, not main team. I can only put... May I will put you in there. Time to fight Arukinimon again. After five billion years. Interesting. Okay, there's a treasure chest up there. No treasure chests that oh. But there's also a treasure chest that away. Alright, we should probably move everyone into here. For a defensible position, and then Chromon will go zip zoop all the way around. I'll just have to play it smart. Well, that's mean. Goddamn ambushes. We'll keep moving on. Because these guys are rather minor, all things considered, so I'm not going to worry about them. Let's go ahead and digivolve everyone. Let's just get everyone to the holdout point. And 
and then Chromon will continue on his journey. Because I think Arukinimon is going to bunker up in there, so maybe we'll actually have everyone... Nah, mm, I don't know. Go ahead and open you. Nightmare. That's the one thing that I haven't done about this. Is like I haven't actually like utilized anything. Ah, go ahead, I'll kick it destroy. I don't think it'll reach, but I might as well try. It'll reach. Let's smack it. Oh, kill! Hell yeah. No damage for you. So yeah, once these guys actually start attacking, I'll have nothing to really fear from them. Are you gonna... Nope, Marukinimon hasn't moved yet. Will she go first again, or Chromon? No, actually, I think... Hmm. I think I'll actually have the team overlook. Hmm. Let me see. Because... I'll set him around there. I'll try to get him through as much as possible without activating Arukinimon. But she's been activated. That's not good. So while he goes to the chest, we'll probably have to move on Arukinimon. Huzzah. I think I might know how to deal with the three over there. Lol. Get smiggity smacked, little man. Oh, crap. But my treasure chest. That's not good at all. She's laughing. There's something seriously wrong with you. I thought children would be easy to handle. How adorable. You thought I was only after you. What? Oh, yeah. Is it because I left them alive too much? That would be kind of dickish, because she wasn't on the map. Look out, Miyuki! I won't allow it! Professor, there's no way you can fight without any weapons! I'll be fine! You take care of the rest of them! Hurry, Takuma! We have to hurry and defeat our Kinemon and save the Professor Miyuki! Are they on the map now? Would you look at that? They're not on the map. Look around, make sure there isn't anything, because I still want that treasure chest. Because let's see, the attack is... So if I move like here... Can the attack... Ah, attack is not nice. Wish it did, but it doesn't. Profound sadness. Oh, I get it. I'll still send him on his way, and everyone else can begin invading. He'll survive another attack, so... That's a bit rude to add even more on top. What?
I wish I could see my normal thing. Because hopefully that doesn't mean anything overall. Kind of jickish. That did like super damage all of a sudden. Maybe counted as a back attack, but still. Does not feel right for game to be dick. Yeah, screw it, I'll just annihilate you. For being an asshole. I wanted the chest and the game was like, ha how dare you? This came out and did way too much damage. I don't think Falcomon should be dead. Because he's story important. If he is, screw you, game. I will restart. Even if this is turning out to be a biggie big battle. Oh, hey, that managed to kill it. Nice. Multi-kill drifting. The problem is there's those guys, but they shouldn't be that terrible. Let's just focus her down. Focus you down to death, asshole. Again, if Falcomon is miraculously... Cause I, I honestly doubt it. That would be a bit too cruel gameplay-wise. Yeah, and Falcomon leveled up, so we can't be dead. Good. Definitely need to have better movement in the future. What are you? Mew, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Thanks to Siakuman. I'm glad. Now then, go any further and you'll lose. <laughs> you'll lose. Retreat while you still can. If you stop now, we'll spare your life. That's the deal. <laughs> what do you children know? How unfortunate for you, you will regret underestimating us. Yeah! Professor! Well, I already said that. Muki! And they got Muki. Damn it. Is is there a way to have stopped that? I honestly don't know. Maybe it was kill all of the Takugamon, but that feels a bit like too abstract for this kind of game. Stop! How naive you are to think you might so easily capture me. She'll get away Mewki by walking across the ceiling! So that's how it appeared all of a sudden. It was hiding above our heads the whole time? Never mind that right now, it took Mewki away! What should we do? How did this happen? That's not... How did... What? Who even are you, Haru? Hang on, Haru, it's too dangerous to go alone! What, you think you... Uh, I'll be safer with you? Haru? The enemy was right in front of you, and yet you hesitated. If you had just done your job, none of this... Damn it! Calm down, Haru. We'll go after her. If we go now, we can make it. No more arguing. You're right, but we won't make it with these slow pokes. That's harsh. I'm saving Miyuki. I don't need any of you. I guess this does make sense storyline-wise to finally get me Haru, quote-unquote, get a bit of, the, of that story going. What is wrong with him? I get that Miyuki's in danger, but he's just unhinged. For now, let's follow them. We can't let Orukinimon get away. You're right. Please be okay, Miyuki. Again, I don't think there was any way of, like, preventing this. Gameplay-wise. We can go out, get outside. Where did Haru go? Takuma, I understand your concern, but try not to be so impetuous. 
That's right, because the enemy might suddenly appear again like before. Yes, it's hard to imagine that Arukiniman will simply leave us alone. With Miyuki taken from us and with us in such a panic, she might seize on our panic and lay traps for us. In other words, no more rushing blindly ahead. But we gotta hurry too, Miyuki and Haru are in danger. Those two should be fine. Why is that? Arukiniman referred to Miyuki as the maiden and took her without killing her. I doubt she was taken merely to panic us. They have some plans for her. In other words, they won't kill her as long as she's useful to them. Yes, and as long as Haru knows Miyuki is fine, he won't do anything foolish either. I don't know. It's his sister who's in danger. His sister in danger. Uh, what is it, Professor? I'm sorry. <coughs> It's nothing for you to be concerned over. I understand what you mean, but have you seen how furious Haru was? You doubt his judgment, right? Like Kaido when Mew is in danger. Yes, well, if Haru remains that upset, I couldn't guarantee how fine they'd be. But we mustn't let haste lead to our demise. We need to proceed quickly and carefully. Isn't that a contradiction? At the very least, we need to watch for traps. How about that, can we use the camera to check our way forward? That might work. If they leave traces, the camera might pick up on it. Yeah, let's try Aoi's plan. Use the camera to look around as we go. We will save Miyuki and Haru together. Woods near city, I probably should have saved. I doubt they'd have laid traps this close. If there were traps before we entered the canals, there might be some here too. It's all down to how much planning our Kinemon put into the attack. Should we check and see? There seems to be a lot. Yeah, it's everywhere. What's this? There's a lot of noise. This... this is... Falcomon, do you know what's happening? This indicates a corpse. One of us. A corpse? You mean a dead body? Yes, but it's fading. How awful. How dare... How, who would dare do something so terrible? It wasn't a trap, but we might want to exercise more caution from now on. Alright, that's creepy. Digimon or Dane? Well, at least that means that, like, all of the, uh... Like, Digimon at the amusement park weren't, like, terribly bad, because they weren't... That. But there weren't that many Digimon here. Why would there be so many corpses then? I'm sensing nothing else now. Um... What is it, Labramon? I have a bad feeling. A creeping chill when we stand here. I can't sense anything, but you think there's something here, too? Let's check if the camera... Would be disturbing. Motherfucker, it's everywhere. It was just, like, everywhere. That's just disturbing. So much digital noise. Just right in front of us. Our corpses hanging from the street. Ah, there's a lot of noise here, too. Same as before. No worse than before. We didn't see this the last time, right? It must be recent. Yeah, something's lingering here. Something strong in addition to the corpses. Are you sensing the thing that made the pile of corpses? I'm not sure. I think it might be, though. We can sense something. An overwhelming feeling of power. It could be because Haru went into Renamon mode, maybe, and just slaughtered every Digimon this way. We should keep moving. Miyuki and Haru's lives hang in the balance. Still very fucking disturbing. The air is pressing tighter around us. What on earth happened here? 
This this is where we fought Garurumon, right? I wonder if there was another fight here. Garurumon in this apartment complex. I'm afraid something terrible will appear, but if I don't check, we can't move forward. I'm a girl, I'm so so full. I'm, 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 I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Uh, just fucking everywhere. I don't know why it does the look with eyes, then look with phone. Just look with phone. It's the same world, but you see more. So much, and it's like body on the car. Here too. They killed their comrades to advance. Who would do such a thing? One an unnatural thing could have killed so many. A powerful monster? Arukenimon? Yeah, maybe. Arukenimon could barely handle us. Could she have killed so many enemies here? Why would Arukenimon want to kill these creatures? Look, everyone, the noise is more distinct over there. It must have been a reason to kill. The sense is strong and seems to be moving in that direction. I'm so paranoid, I think I'm gonna diddly D. Okay, who's lowest level out of everyone here? Definitely you. Uh, better use the Grove Stones. I'm gonna use all the Grove Stones. Raise you up, because I am very fucking paranoid now. Alright, who needs more health? Alright. One for you. I'm actually going to give them both to you because I'm bound to be more reckless with you. And uh, power pineapple. Who needs more smiggity smack power? I'm just going to play it safe and I'm going to give you more smiggity smack power. And uh, big growth stones, big growth stone. Let's see, who needs... Close enough to leveling up anyway. Same thing with you. I will do it on you. I'm just freaking paranoid now. This is getting really intense. This is the first time that we've actually run into dead Digimon that weren't taken by the fog. Further into the complex, away from the factory we're headed to? We don't have time for this. Let's follow the traces where they lead. I'm just paranoid, man. I'm just... I... Uh, I just do not like this at all. That's a lot of blood. What the, what's this? Oh, these dead bodies. Were they servants of Arukinimon? If we see them with our own eyes, then they might have just died. Takuma, look over there! Yep, Renamon. Arukinimon is standing off against them? Is that Renamon? Renamon? Does the professor know him? <laughs> Renamon just went nuts. I called it, I guess, after I realized, oh, dead body, probably. <laughs> Did that thing seriously take out all of Harukinimon's servants by itself? It's overpowering. All of this destruction was wrought by him alone. Release the girl. You cannot have her. I will not allow it. Renamon's trying to save Miyuki. Why? Does Renamon know her? Utter rage! Stop interfering and die already! Renamon's looking pretty beat up. He doesn't stand a chance! Should we try and save him? What do we do? We can't let our Arukinimon leave of Miyuki. What should we do? Draw Arukinimon's attention to save Renamon? Forget about Renamon, just save Miyuki. I believe that we should help Renamon. Let's work together. You, don't interfere. Back off. You're obviously hurt. Let us help you. Interfering humans. Do not get involved. I've had enough of this. Spare the maiden and kill the rest.
almost want to throw my War Growlmon in there. So we definitely have to defend Rinamon. Still interested about the others, like, evolution line stuff. Also, I think... I don't know. Is this the first time that we've run into a neutral type? It's been a long time since we've run into a neutral type, at the very least. Can we talk to anybody? Cannot talk to anyone. Get everyone ultimated because entirely possible other minions will come in here because Arukinimon made an order. Spare the maiden, kill everyone else. Your move animation feels a little weird. That can destroy easily. Clean dressing, hell yeah. The good stuff. Alright, you are very slow. Oh, you're gonna do a thing? Diamond Storm! Has been a while since we've seen you fight. So neat. Can I hit you with the flame? Because it does spread out. Oh, nope. Aha! So the answer is... Oh, wait, aha! The answer is... Take this! Take this! First, let's see what your movement is. So, I don't have to worry. You, I'll body block for Renamon. You're merely a champion level. I don't fear you. Go ahead and smash. Oh, that's a uh, multi hit. Did not know. Lol. Go ahead and finish him off. Go ahead and annihilate him. Oh, and then we get to move. Yay. I forgot that we can do that. Hmm. So that's, what's your movement? Your movement isn't all that great, so I should just try and stay out of your range. Why does that count as a side attack? Nope, I think. Need to be more careful with my movements. Look at that. 
Okay, that's... Dang it, you missed. I keep forgetting that it's... But then that means that I can do this. Hello. Time for a little bit of revenge. But fear, but fear, much fear indeed. Nothing but fear. Fine potency crystal, an all purpose ointment, and clean dressing. Will she finally die? Utter rage. Good, Renamon has gotten Miyuki away from Arkinimon. And she's fainted. Miyuki! And just utterly... I think you should still be focusing on Arukinimon. <laughs> Don't want another triggery. Miyuki, can you hear me? Are you okay? So are you gonna die or are you gonna run away? Then again, if you run away, that means you're gonna have to face your master and he's gonna kill you, so you're kinda fucked. <laughs> Finally, our connection with you is cut. But I'll give you one chance to avoid having to experience true hell. Tell us everything you know. How do we get back home? And why was Miyuki your maiden? What were you planning? What was that? Speak up, I couldn't hear you. I said, you can go to hell. <laughs> maybe not here, and maybe not now, but this world will eventually consume you all. Just like the two already taken by the mist. You monster! No, Kaido, don't let her get to you. Takuma, say something! Well, this is bad. Is Rokinimon the one that understands the boundary between the worlds, as Jijimon said? I don't think so. But still, she seems to know something we don't. I need to hear what she has to say. I have to at least try asking the most important remaining question. Still don't understand these. Moral is apparently asking about the boundary. Asking about the maiden is harmony. Which, in all honesty, asking about the maiden is... Hmm. The boundary. Who knows about the boundary between worlds? Heh. <laughs> Ooh, indeed. So you know then. So clever, but why would I tell you that? So, tell them. Don't tell them. Either way, you shall be silenced. Is it the uh, the man who has the white cape? Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, it's the cape man. Wait, Piedmon? But oh, that oh oh, he is glitching out the screen. But Piedmon, Piedmon? I don't see a clown there, but I guess I do get some kind of like jesterly-ishness. Mm. You were a fool to the end. No, no, I don't want to die. Help me! Yeah, that's Piedmon. Don't no idea why he kept his identity a secret like that, though. There can be only one punishment for failing your duty. Death! Was there a way to save Arukinimon? <laughs> well, that was brutal. But no, why aren't you on the same side? It's very simple. A useless pawn is to be discarded. How heartless. And now, one more stands in my way. Shall I at last be done with you? We need to help. What he said. And of course, why did there? Why did we not go there? Damn, Miyuki slipped away from Renamon, but Paimon grabbed her. Come, maiden, for my master. God diddly damn dang it. Why does he get to teleport? Stop, monster! 
Kaido, don't! What? Everyone is worried, it seems. Dragmon. And Dogmon and Labramon, too? I'm shaking. That guy is too much. I'm serious, he's just too strong. He's not like anything we fought before. I don't see any way we can beat him. You're not going anywhere. I'll protect her myself. Renamon? You can't! Not when you're injured like that. You need to rest. Let go of me. I'm going. I'll get her back. You're shaking too. Can't you see there's no way to win this one? We need to find a new strategy. Because we have to rescue Miyuki no matter what. Shut up. I can't trust any of you. You'd only end up abandoning her again. That's how it always goes. I'm the only one who can truly protect her. Note how nobody is talking about Haru right now. Renamon. What should we do, Takuma? We can only go forward. They might know about our world, but we can't ignore the fact that they have Miyuki. He was heading west, toward the factory. We're going to, we're going to from the beginning. It's simple. We just need to keep going towards our original goal. Yeah, maybe. Whether we decide to learn about our enemy first or to attack immediately. Either way, we still have to go to the same place, the factory to the west. Well, at least that heightens the tension. And again, nobody gives a shit about Haru right now. It's like everybody kind of is like, yeah, Haru's gone. But I do believe that will be it for now, primarily because we went through quite a lot. Def decent talky-talky, decent fighty-fighty, decent revelations. I was right! Haru was indeed Rinnamon! All this time, apparently. Granted, once again, not all that much of a shocker, considering that we saw Rinnamon in the tunnels. And then, oh, would you look at that, the, the obvious conclusion hath been had. But yes, but yes, I think that will be it for now. Just because, again, we're probably going to be entering into the really, really big stuff. We're going to be into the big stuff next. And yep, I was right. The lighting was mostly just about where we are in the day, not status of story doom. But, but, but... Yeah, it does feel like we're heading to a climax. Arokenimon died. The only ones that are, like, left that are, like, main characters on the enemy side are Garurumon, Piedmon, and their elusive leader, who is supposedly, potentially, the leader of this world. Or, like, not leader, but the keeper? Because, like, there was the creator, and then there's the current, like, overseer that Gigi Mon was talking about. But yeah, feels like we're entering into another very dangerous game zone. Fear, 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 fear. But I do think that our Digimon are at good, like, states. Also, again, we are like 25 hours into this game and nobody has uttered the word Digimon. It's just Kimonogami. Unless Kimonogami are meant to stand for Digimon. And then it's just like a translation thing. I don't know. But yeah, things doth go crazy in here, and there's no way of telling if the next time will be the end. Who knows? We'll have to see. But yeah, I'm enjoy enjoying this game. My theory is, like, the only thing to theorize about, who is the professor? Who is Haru? Miyuki is Miyuki. Yeah, yeah. But yes. My theories came out correct. Nobody else has died yet. Yay! And we just have a little bit of fear to go. Because I think they're setting up like Miyuki might be the next one of, oh no, could die. I don't want that. Wish that I could actually like use Renamon in battle, but oh well. Also, I do find it kind of funny that Renamon is like, only I can protect her. Meanwhile, 
he was failing to protect Miyuki until we stepped in. Crazy head. But yes, I'm still really enjoying this game. I'm getting really, I still really like the story. Again, once I got over my expectations, because for me, when my brain heard the, ooh, anyone can live, anyone can die. Even though that's kind of a lie here. Like, that's what I was assuming. Because I think the material was just like, I, I don't even think they said, oh yeah, you can save everyone. I think the, like, advertising material that I saw just said, anybody can die. And my brain translated that to, oh, that means I can save people. And then my brain went to, like, the last game I played that really had that kind of mechanic of uh, Mass Effect. And so when there wasn't really much of a in-game contextual chance to save Ryo, kind of put me into a slump with the game. Completely changed how I played the game, because now paranoia took over. But... Eh. Still really enjoying it, getting into the characters, getting into the story. Can't wait to see where things go next and when the game breaks my soul and heart. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, you can catch up on various streams that have been archived onto the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. And if you're already one of the people there... Oh yeah, I forgot the main part. It's just like, oh yeah, on my stream archive channel, Neon Icy Games... You can watch me play the various games, like Mass Effect Trilogy, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and Undertale. Yay! But if you're already one of the people there watching the archives, you can catch me playing these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. Just check the uh, bibbidi bop schedule on the Twitch channel page for when I go live. That's basically the best way to do it, because sometimes brain goes, I should stream this day. That is not the normal stream day, but who knows. And uh, elsewise, if they, you want to see more of my art, like my little avatar character in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see me post my art on Twitter, tw uh, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. Almost said Twitch. This does not have much of a art posting capability. You can live stream yourself drawing, but I do not feel comfortable doing that because my skill sucks. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.